Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the Phantom Fellows. There is something on the ground here. Hey, my license plate. Oh, no. It's my license plate. I must have gotten knocked off when I jumped the car off that... Off that sick berm. Not of, off. That was a gravestone. Hmm. I don't remember it being there, but then again, maybe, uh... Maybe that's expected because I could have gotten it earlier and I just didn't walk through here? I'm not sure. Your license plate. I think there was, uh... Did we look at everything here? Sad. Yeah, I think we did. Okay. Great, now the environment is acting up. Hmm. It is time to cast judgment, Oliver. Bear witness. But oh, there's a bear? Where's a bear? Um. Um. Look. Listen. Hmm. Oh, I have to choose? I have to choose? Alright, it was Finley, I think. It's totally Finley. He stole the watch that caused the, uh, the train wreck. Also, that little top hat thing, the reason that I couldn't see it is just because my screen is darker than I think the uh, video makes it on YouTube. Finley? Are you just guessing C on a multiple choice, or do you really think it is him? I think it's Finley because of reasons most valid. Immediately sounds flimsy. Don't let the structural integrity of the sentence fool you. Finley actually makes the most sense. Like, by far. By maybe too far. I disagree on both c accounts. Continue. Ugh. It's actually... Now it's too early for this. True. For a brief moment, it was both too late and too early for this. That was probably when I lashed out back there. I'll save some of that objective venom for Finley. Come on, let's walk, float, and talk. I want to stop and say hi to Zoe if we're finished by dawn. If that's okay with you. Of course. Don't you of course me. Actually, I feel good about this. You should go get Hope. Turn right around. Ah. Nothing. G good evening, Finley. I thought I fixed your flint yesterday, Pendleton. Say, could either of you gentlemen tell me what the weather is right now? Ah, well, it looks chilly. Don't be silly, it's muggy out. Your friend, Blockbuster, he's quite sweaty. But what? Nothing, it is just... Uh, he's calling it. Did you perhaps think that Oliver's name was Blockbuster? No. Maybe. <laughs> Sardonic chortle. Come on inside, guys. I'm going to talk to you about some of the changes your bodies have been going through. 
Ooh, it's the birds and the bees talk. Uh oh. Some of them have been pretty gross, actually. Picked Finley. I hope you're wrong. Wow. I'm sorry. Wildly inappropriate. I know. I could have word worded that better. It was just a lot of sudden moisture. Oh my. Ew. Also, what am I supposed to be looking at? Oh, you'll be pretending up most of it based on uh, stuff I whisper to you. When I remember to. Seems fair. I like her hairstyle, too. I am not a rememberer of things. So it is only us in here right now, right? Somebody tell the new wagtail that all the men here are broke. And I don't pay. Oliver, please let Hope know that Gertrude thinks she will not have luck selling her body in this train. Oliver, you didn't answer the question. It's just us. Phew. And four ghosts. What? And one of them thinks you're a whore. And she doesn't even know you. Wow. It is not obvious that she is wrong. Now two of them think it. This is a lot. I'm sorry, here. I'm just going to tell you the important stuff. The lights are off. Oliver! Hey, you're good. We're probably good. They're a very dramatic people. Goodness gracious. The room anticipates your silence. Wait, quiet. The several ghosts in here. Wait, quiet. The several ghosts in here with us, of which two think you're a lady of the night. Uh, they want us to stop talking now. You'd better be ripping me off. Don't let them know you poop. All right, listen up, you ragtag bunch of wine sniffers. And he comes out swinging. Oh no no! I do not like your tone. And you know, I am glad you picked up on that, too. Because I'm going to need you all to tuck, in, tuck your pinkies in, winterize those well-I-nevers, and listen up. You are, you are all dead, and you have been. What? N no! No! Crap. I do feel kind of dead, you guys. I for sure can't feel joy. Rather dramatized while predominantly mirthless snicker. You can't blame the boy for choosing it. Pendleton's lie every sunrise was like being wrapped in a warm, safe mink coat. Of course, over time, that warmth started to feel more and more like being trapped within a heavy, stale bathtub of cold water. Then, before you know it, he's got you. Pronounced a nasal exhale. I'm not sure if I can do some of these sounds. At least not on cue. Also, you know, I, I pinched my uh, finger in my door, and it really hurts, actually. <laughs> it just doesn't aside. I'm sorry, is something amusing? Well, it would appear you are confused, madame. Any update? Ugh, yes. I was thinking about investing in a puppet. I want one that's kind of off-pitting, though. I'm just gonna... Do you want a good puppeteer, and can mine come with a knife? Or do you know a good puppeteer, and can mine come with a knife? I'm just gonna keep staring this way in silence. Yes, well, uh, do try breathing from one's nose. Relay that to her. Oh, for sure not, no. Yeah, I'm not telling Hope that. La 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 la. Where was I? Oh yes, so look. Listen, I have to pee. And frankly, I've had to. P 
pardon the circumstance. I'm afraid Oliver here is only making things worse. That's probably my fault. All I do is walk around confused, confusing other people. I might find rest o I might find rest over just that comment alone. So let us hurry this up. I was trying to say that Mrs. Smith is confused because this is not about her, you see. And so she embarrasses herself by assuming the spotlight. For you see, it was the actions of one of the two gentlemen here that got you all killed. Build the anticipation. Build it. Is this going to be much longer? I'm super hungry. Mother, my tummy is also lonely. I want jungle food. Sorry, what? Jungle food, like mangoes and whatever berries. Green berries. Grapes. Bush made food. Well, me too. Also, we interrupted a pivotal moment, so not too much longer, but for sure longer now than it was meant to be. Than it was about to be. Oh, okay, my bad. Wait, real quick. Instead of a puppet, what if I get a frog and join the competitive jumping circuit? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just... Uh, I'll put you down as Team Puppet. I'm sorry, do they have to be in here? Thanks for saying it. Ah, tell you what. Oliver, how about you lay out the events that led us all to this discussion here tonight? Kill two birds with one stone. I've never even killed one bird with one, with a stone. Hope, Finley, Thurston, Thurston, Gertrude, and a secret insider ghost sidekick. I have the chills. That's how bad I have to pee. Here's the deal. Simplified and not coming from me at my best. I'm a little nervous is all, so... Uh, so many eyes on me, maybe. Yup. Okay, well, there's actually quite a case against old Gertbag. Everywhere you go, you can find evidence of her. All sloppy drunk on... on vacay. Meddling with operators and ignoring cautions. But alas, she gets off on a technicality. She didn't help, but she wasn't the one who ultimately created the deadly circumstance. That was deadly. Tighten it up. Okay, so Thurston, if those goons did catch up to you, it was after you were stopped in that tunnel for some time. And by that time, sure, maybe they wrecked the joint trying to recover some cash because that's all they could do. After all, you were all already all dead. That was too many alls. Funny you should ask. See, to a degree, we may never know if Gertrude's reckless behavior or Pendle whatever's debt contributed to this. Think about wrapping up, bud. But! But. If they had, they would still require Finley, the golden child of the investigation, to steal the conductor's, how would you say, valuable for a reason timepiece. With a faulty substitution in the conductor's hand, the train ended up behind schedule and on a collision course with an eastbound train. When the trains met in the tunnel, the collision was minimal, but at the cost of your train's functionality and the conductor's life. James. So, with the other passenger cars safely outside in the fresh air, the first-class car remained parked in the tunnel, behind the engine and the coal. And it was there its passengers were hotboxed to death by poisonous gases. The slasher end. Correct me if I'm wrong, but is he saying that Gertrude and I aren't responsible? I regret that. The, the your thing. Well, this has not been a good look for any of you. Indeed, you are correct. Finley is ultimately responsible. Well, that settles it. I'm off the hook. Oh. Hold it. Don't move, ghost hole. Peace! Hope, come back! I was being bad, cop! Thurston, get your apparition back here now. You are hardly off the hook. 
like you spent close to a century manipulating Gertrude and Finley into thinking they were alive. Just come back in for five more minutes so we can not see how it ends. I don't know. Oh, oh my god, fine. I promise I won't skin and wear you. Yay, thank you. Excuse me, what? I very suddenly, all at once, no longer want to be here. So, Finley, here is your one fair chance. In fact, Gertrude and Thurston, you might find this useful as well. You must embrace the catastrophe of life and bear the responsibilities to which you are your own. I'm Victorian, and that was hard to track. Yes, well, I'm still trying to work it out. When breathers tell stories of us, they miss the mark. For we do not possess the living simply because we are possessed unto ourselves. I don't feel possessed. I feel wet. It is something like this. Before you may contend with death, you must first confront the darkest part of yourself. Voluntarily. And if you are unwilling to face that... To the degree that you are unwilling to face that... Well... That is the spirit that possesses you. Look, mister, I see you trying and I'm real grateful for it. But I'm gonna need almost childlike instructions from you. Dear sweet Finley, of course you do. You got real people killed. Great way to break the silence. This is as far as I can take you, all of you. The truth is the antidote to your suffering. Look within yourselves and aim high. Shoot low? Oh, is he gonna about is he gonna break into a yes song? Darling, we died in first class. Clearly, our aim was high. Yeah, wasn't aiming high what got me in trouble to begin with? Surely you know these are the wrong targets. Aim towards the highest conceivable good that you can imagine and sacrifice what is needed to get there. Sheesh. I don't know, Mr. P. I'm carrying a lot of weight. A silent understanding. Right. I don't know, guys. I'm... You got this, Finley. I'm really scared, you guys. Like, sure, I ain't happy. How could I be? But this... This could be so much worse. I mean, I ain't hungry. I'm not in any pain. And so, what if... What if I do let go and, and it just gets worse? Like, scary worse. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of what is next. But I have witnessed that in lieu of fulfillment, an act of faith is often helpful. Finley, I'll stay right here with you so you're not alone. Let it all go, man. And hey, don't worry. Whatever happens next, compared to this, it'll be better. Or newer? Finley, it is time. What say you? I... I don't snitch. What? You do not have to... Especially on myself. Oh. I see. How about you two, Thurston? Gertrude? The only reason I was in a position to do... Grovel the thing I did grovel. Is because of Finley. Okay, well, you enjoy that eternal argument. Moving right along to Gertrude. I didn't do. Great story. Good night, everyone. All of our time to go. Hold on. Habuda. Sorry, I almost sneezed myself. I, I didn't want to scare you. 
Oh, okay, okay, I get what that was. All right. Anyway, how did we... Not you, Hope. How did we do? They're not going anywhere. However, you were more or less right. While I personally still have some questions, in the end, it seems Finley was at least primarily responsible. Love a good told me so. Hold on just a moment. I want to go somewhere. What about us? Another fair question. Yes, and actually, if you were hired, then who is your manager? Pinches the bridge of his nose. Emotionally. Yeah, and who are those guys? Excuse me, what? This is perfect! Dude. It is. Reminds me of my gammies. Oh, heavens, they're not thinking of... It's mighty insulated in here, y'all. A lot of room for sleeping bags. Say, uh, Engelbert, how exactly do you find your way around town anyway? anyways? You would need a breather that you could communicate with. We could throw some rages in here for sure. Hold on, those two are still here. But why? But why? Because people do not perceive objects and infer meaning, rather the exact opposite. You gotta go, bro. But she can stay. Okay, so you're the third wheel. It's the first thing everyone wonders. Look. Listen, fool. If you try to hurt my friend here, I will stop you. Or die objectively trying. You have him against the ropes. Now, maybe I can't fight. Or maybe, maybe I'm the world's first serious ninja. Your move. Wish I had a sock puppet holding a knife for when he turns around. What did you just say? These idiots are gonna kill those idiots. I said if it's a knife... I said it's a knife fight for a sh puppet show. Tell Commoner he'd better not get stabbed on the couch. It's Oliver. What are you talking about? He means it's a nice night. For a puppet knife fight. Right? Oliver? Huh? Uh, yeah, sure, I guess. I don't know. I kind of want the frog instead now. I hate being confused. Both of you, get out of here now! Bye! There's a bunch of ghosts in here. They're already judging you. Wait, don't go! You cannot just abandon us like this. Engelbert, please, buddy. We don't deserve all this now. You are all terrible. Good day. Ew. Nasty. Humid. And so in the final analysis, what mattered above all was that Finley stole the railroad grade watch. Help me out with this watch thing. Oy vey with the watches tonight. Yeah, sun's coming up. Okay, so when the conductor's watch was stolen, he replaced it with the one I showed you way earlier. Right, it wasn't railroad grade, so I guess it could lose time over time? Correct. There's probably a level of precision we assume with modern technology that was pretty expensive and handcrafted just a century ago. Even the cheap one is complicated. There's all these cute little spiky wheels in there, all doing their best. Well, they were anyway. That was until one of them, overworked and underappreciated, decides to start slacking off. Pull the nose up. Point is, Finley stole the watch early in the journey, and by the time they reached their final destination... Dun-dun-dun! 
Thank you! So by the time they reached the tunnel, that watch had been losing tenths of a second per hour for days. And about six minutes later, a disaster was born. Can I just say you did amazing? That is something I am used to hearing, yes. When I imagined how this might go, this was pretty much the best case scenario. And you even recovered the conductor's lost watch. I'm a loser and a finder. Well, I think you've done enough to annotate this, the historical record, and I'm going to present it to the clerk this week. Oh yeah, here, take my notebook. It's got everything I think I, think I thunk in it. This is a penis. Flip it over. It's still a penis. Flip the whole notebook over. Aha, here we go. This is all incredibly helpful. Thank you, Oliver. Okay, well, I want to go now. I know, I'm so tired too. And I gotta go unlock the theater before I can... What is now, I guess, nap. Sorry, I'm getting a sixth wind. Don't worry about the shipping. I'll happily cover that and I'll get you paid up this week. Thanks again, Oliver. Good night. Or morning. Thanks, Hope. Have a nice whatever. What is the plan? Well, I can't ignore the fact that we'll be uh, passing Zoe's right around when she leaves for work. It's incredibly serendipitous. And annoying. Let's go. I'm going to say I'm just driving past her place, and then gauge my enthusiasm from there. I'm confused as to your hesitance. I don't know if it's... I don't know. It's like... I want to be on for her, but I'm afraid I won't be because I'm exhausted, you know? Just do not be... Just be yourself, Oliver. That is more than enough. And you do not have to be shy around her, either. Well, that's not how being shy works, but thanks for the first part. Suspiciously sweet of you. Come on, let's go honk at ourselves for not going on green. Huh. The window's boarded up again. Ugh, I'm super nervous. My mouth is all sweaty. That is drool. You are drooling. Quick, what do I say? Just say something perfect. Oliver, hi! Peppermint is spearmint for grown-ups. Wait, why are you right? That makes spearmint feel adolescent. What makes spearmint feel adolescent? I don't know, but I like your voice and you talk hot. Thanks, you listen sexily. I don't know if it's romantic or creepy, but I kind of miss you. Gosh, I hope it's both. Hey, want to take a walk around the lake with me after work? I would love to. Okay, I'm going to walk us to our cars and then see you in a few hours. Day six, coal feet. And that is where we're going to wrap it up. See you next time, everyone.